Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Potholes. Potholes are also known as pots, hollows, rock mills, giant kettles, stream kettles, churn holes and eddy mills. Potholes are round or oval shaped holes found in the bedrock of either a river or on wave cut platforms at the edge of the sea. When we study the different names for potholes, we can see that some clearly help explain how potholes are formed, which is by the processes of erosion, especially corrasion and abrasion. The name churn holes is very apt, as to churn means to powerfully move around in a liquid, and churn holes are formed under liquid in streams, for example, and the name eddy mills indicates an eddy is used, an eddy being a swirling current, within which rocks are transported along, milling the bedrock by abrasion, helping us link all of these names together. Wow! To help explain how potholes form, let's use these two layers of rock. They are under a river, this flowing from left to right, the water carrying sediments along with it. If we study just one of these grains, we see corrasion happening, the grain being moved along, hitting the riverbed, then bouncing on downstream. Here, where the grain hits the bedrock, compares the geological hammers attacking the bedrock, grinding away some of the rock by the process of abrasion. Over time, as more sediment hits the bedrock, the uppermost layer is ground away. As the grain hits the riverbed, fragments of bedrock are also broken off, these also helping erode the rock by themselves being transported along and then hitting the riverbed, further eroding the rock. If we look into such a site in more detail, with our two layers of rock, an underlying softer rock overlain by a harder layer, as the water currents move across the bedrock, fragments of rock hit and then break off part of the overlying harder layer. The result is that the water does not move uniformly across the once uniformly flat surface anymore. And instead, the water swells about, so when sediment is transported along, it does not simply bounce in and out of the mini pothole. Instead, the sediment is also swirled around, inside the hole, causing further abrasion, so enlarging the pothole. The sediment's not only swirling horizontally around and then out of the pothole, but also moving up and downward too, so causing the pothole to considerably deepen into the softer underlying rock, enlarging with more water that flows across the area, creating our aptly named churn hole, our pothole. That's amazing! In reality, a lot of sediment is carried along, meaning much corrasion and abrasion happens, resulting in multiple potholes of various forms and sizes appearing, these often having the eroding sediment trapped in their base when the water currents decrease and cannot hold their load anymore. These examples, in the wave-cut platforms in the Jurassic Age muddy limestones at Lyme Regis in southern England, are very clear to see, and here, we also see the very start of potholes forming too. These potholes display the classic circular and oval forms, as well as the sediment trapped in the base of the potholes. And this example, from Switzerland, is remarkable in its size. This formed from powerful and turbulent meltwaters cascading off melting glaciers several thousand years ago. Please do watch our other videos about wave cut platforms and the fossil wave cut notches of Rhodes, Greece. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!